What's up guys, my name is Riley and welcome back to another cryptocurrency review. Today I'm going to be giving you an overview of the cryptocurrency known as Eternity. As always with any other video or cryptocurrency review that I do, I'll put these headings in the description box below and put a timestamp next to them so you can go click on that part of the video if you wish to. Also, if you're first time visiting the channel here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get into it, shall we? Alright, so what is Eternity? And well, Eternity, which was made in 2016, is an open source smart contract platform which aims to solve the scalability and security problems which is faced by current development platforms, for example, Ethereum. The native cryptocurrency on the platform is AE, and the coin is used to pay for space and computation time on the virtual machine, and it's also used as a financial incentive. So it basically does the same operation as it does as ETH does on the Ethereum network. For the cryptocurrency, we currently have 233 million coins in circulation with a total of 274 million coins. Now, this isn't a tiny amount, but it's not a huge amount either if you compare it to some other coins like, for example, Ripple. So now onto the features. And the first one, and I think the most important one for this platform, is something called state channels. And in unlike in other platforms, for example in Ethereum, Eternity uses state channel technology to allow smart contract data and resources to be hosted in these state channels instead of the blockchain itself. What this does is it saves resources on the blockchain as it only records the transactions and exchanges on the platform. So all the actual data within the contract is stored off chain in these smart channels. Why this is so important is that because on platforms like Ethereum, they store the smart contract data on chain and often this smart contract data can be like hundreds of gigabytes and it really, really bottlenecks the system and it does not make a scalable solution for mass adoption. However, state channels are a good way to get around this. AE therefore proposes that only dApps build using off-chain storages will be supported on the Eternity platform. Now, some users and companies will not like this, but it does keep a unified system for the platform. What this also does, it allows for the creation of private smart contract data and resources, with the ability to access the data within the smart contract only in a case of disagreement. So the second feature I want to talk about is decentralized oracles. And all these are basically a system which connects smart contracts with information from the real world. And this is very useful uh, for things like prediction markets, for example, sports betting. What oracles actually do is they allow real-time data from the outside world to be integrated into the platform seamlessly. The third thing which I want to briefly mention is the consensus and governance on the platform. And first off for the consensus, Eternity uses a hybrid proof of work and proof of stake model, which provides both scalability and security at the same time. And if you know Really, if you've looked into what Ethereum is doing with their upgrades, this is similar to what Ethereum will be doing before they implement their full proof of stake algorithm. And in terms of governance, regarding the future upgrades and changes to the platform, this will be executed through a voting process, through a consensus process, which is sort of similar to other platforms which use delegated proof of stake. All right, so why is it useful? And the first reason is that it's scalable. And this is due to the state channels. Um, they actually make the operations extremely economical and make possible new ways possible of platform monetization. And also they make micro and nano transactions possible. There is no limit to the volume of smart contracts. They may be hundreds of gigabytes, like I said before, or even possibly terabytes. And the good thing about the Eternity platform is as, as long as an, only a small fraction of the smart contract is executed on chain, the rest will run in parallel and it will run seamlessly. The second reason why it's useful is privacy. And this is also to do with state channels again. State channels allow data to be stored off the chain in a private fashion. And like I said before, if there is a disagreement, people can access it. Not everyone can access it, obviously, but the right people will be able to. The third reason is that it's secure, and this is due to the combination of the consensus algorithms and state channels to allow both the network and the data to be stored on the network to be kept secure. So I've just got here a couple of the use cases which Eternity would be very suitable for due to its technologies. 
And the first one, information markets, like I said before, uh, FinTech decentralized, crowdfunding, instant video game rewards, and then blockchain networks. So for their team, I mean, they don't have a ton of all-stars on their team, but I've put a few notes here from what I could find about their team. And the head of their team is Yanislav Malakhov. Uh, he worked with Vitalik Buterin in, uh, on Coloured Coins back in 2013. If you know some things about Litecoin, that's one of the things that they're going to implement over the next few years. Uh, Zach uh, previously worked for Augur, another big cryptocurrency in the space. And Nicola worked previously for Starter, which is a $2 billion pharmaceutical company and is also a, uh, currently still an advisor for Adex. Now in terms of the community, this is probably the one thing which does let it down. Um, as you can see here, they've only got 15,000 Twitter followers, 2,000 Facebook followers, and 2K Reddit followers. They also do have a Telegram and a Slack, but if I could see one thing change about the cryptocurrency is that I would like to see some more promotion and some more community growth on the platform. As we know, all know, we've got to see people actually using the platform and people to know about the platform for it to actually grow. So in terms of buying and storing, the first stuff I want to talk about buying, and as we can see here, we've got uh, really, what's that, 15 pairings over, I think it looks to be about six exchanges, and um, the most notable being probably, yeah, Gate.io and Binance. My, I think that most people would have one of these accounts, if you, especially if you're in the Western world. However, I mean, I'd like to see some more exchanges get on there to always be good as more exchanges, more exchanges generally means more liquidity and it also means more promotion for the coins. So yeah, but most people have a Binance account these days so you should be able to buy it if you are into cryptocurrencies. And in terms of storing, this is probably, I was gonna say that was the one thing that let me down but it's probably the second thing which needs to be improved for this currency is the wallets that are available. The first option you have is to put it on my Ether wallet and this isn't really my favorite, but if I have to, I have to. What I do is I'll use my Ether wallet with the Legend Nano S to make sure they put it on a hardware wallet. But um, also they do have an Aeon website wallet, which was developed. However, I've been looking for quite a while now and I still cannot seem to get it up and running. I've looked and around on forums and people are saying that it's been down for quite a while now. So I'm not sure what's going on, but hopefully they can, uh, I guess, fix that situation as soon as possible. So looking at the future of Eternity, and the first thing I want to talk about is the roadmap, and they haven't really got much on the roadmap at the moment. Uh, the one big thing that they do have on the roadmap is the launching of the mainnet in quarter two, 2018. As we all know, this is quite a big thing for platforms, as it allows people to actually develop on the platform, promote the platform, and use the platform. And that's one of the biggest things we uh, need for mass adoption of cryptocurrencies in general. So now my thoughts, just a couple of quick thoughts. And the first off, it's a very solid project, definitely. But it's up against a lot of established competition. Things like Ethereum, things like NEO, things like Lumens. Obviously, there won't be one platform to rule them all, I don't think. But there's going to be a lot of competition trying to get to for those two... Um, those top few places and top few platforms. And I mean, at the moment it did, it might have a few technical advantages over other platforms like Ethereum, but they are looking to, uh, I guess, fix those and fix those issues and sort out their scalability and security problems. And that leads me on to my next point is that for them really to succeed in the long run, they will have to really look at getting their adoption and development on their platform because they're already ahead in the technological advancements in terms of scalability and security, but now they need to get people to use the platform to promote the platform as the success of any crypto or blockchain platform will ultimately depend on the adoption of it. And in terms of the price, I could see this price rising quite a bit in the short to mid term. As, a, as I always say, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do think for what it is providing, it's quite an undervalued crypto nonetheless. So that was my review of Eternity. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please leave a, a like and a comment below on another cryptocurrency you would like to see me review. As always, hit, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you later.